Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Okay, so here's your Pure Air Brooks Stone Air Purifier. And this one, when I first tested it, it worked. It worked. I turned it on and it came on. And then when I got it home, it wouldn't come on. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how to clean it. And, of course, it's not thoroughly clean at this point. You can see that this is like some sort of ion stain. Basically, it uses high voltage to clean the air and this UV light to purify the whatever the dust. This part here just slides up and out. You can see this has got pretty dirty. I've already uh, washed it off with soap and water. And so these parts unscrew and separate. This part here unscrews and these two uh, cylinders will separate so you can clean inside there. Now, uh, I didn't really thoroughly clean these, but you can see how that works. Um, ideally, I wouldn't really want to scratch the surface on it. It might have some sort of uh, surface on it that uh, particularly attracts the, the dust so I would just simply clean it with a mild soap is what I do and that's what I've done I haven't really cleaned it very well I could probably contact the company and ask them uh, about uh, scratching the surface but anyway and you can see down here on the bottom there are contacts, and these contacts need to be clean um, in order for it to make contact to produce the high voltage in these in these tubes. And you can see I've got that all set; it's not correctly lined up. But anyway, uh, I don't know why this doesn't work now. If this does not have good contacts down here, it is possible that it would not turn on. So, first thing I'm going to do is just check the check the continuity in the uh, in the line, and make sure that the cord is good. So that's normally what I check first is the cord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my meter and I'm going to check. Actually, what I'll probably do is check the, I'll clean these contacts up real good, and then check the continuity from the cord to the machine. Okay, so this bottom plate here has regular Phillips screws on it. The top actually has Torx, kind of a weird Torx setup on it, but anyway. Once you take the bottom piece off, there's actually nothing in there. It's just kind of a whatever isolator thing. And so basically, here's your input. And so what we're going to do is we're going to trace the input wires and make sure we have continuity to the input wires. Um, and then clean off the contacts real good down here. And fire it up again, see if we can do something with it. Okay, so we had continuity on the cord, so it wasn't the cord. It was, I believe it was just the contacts in here. These contacts and these contacts down here and inside there. These contacts here have to contact that. And it looks like there's a switch on the top here that needs to make sure and be activated by this thing. So that's all I did and got it going. Brookstone, pure ion. 
And this thing back here is actually the cleaner. So supposedly you move this up and down. I think you have to take out the uh, ion cartridge to move that up and down. Then it cleans the it cleans it to a certain degree, but this one's like really dirty inside. Ideally, it should be all taken apart and clean. You can see these are special torques. They're like whatever three-sided. It's a pyramid torques, basically. And then inside here, they have the the uh, the wires that generate the ions. So anyway, that's your Brookstone Ion, Pure Ion.